The maturing atheroma causes outward remodeling of the artery wall and can therefore grow quite large without impinging on the vessel lumen. Thus, a clinically significant lesion may remain all but invisible on angiography, although intravascular ultrasound can reveal its hidden dimensions. The risk of triggering an acute thrombotic event depends less on whether the lesion chronically impairs blood flow than on its tendency to rupture. Damage to the lesion's fibrous cap can expose blood to potent procoagulants within the lipid core and trigger thrombosis. The plaque's protective fibrous cap exists in a state of dynamic flux. When platelets degranulate during thrombosis, they can release growth factors that promote collagen matrix deposition and actually stabilize plaques. However, within the festering lipid core of inflamed plaques, macrophages produce matrix-degrading metalloproteinases that can thin and weaken the fibrous cap. Inflammatory cytokines may inhibit matrix production by smooth muscle cells. Large clinical trials have shown that lipid-lowering therapy can reduce the risk of acute events early in the course of treatment without necessarily reducing arterial stenosis. We now believe that lowering LDL and raising HDL can help to stabilize plaque, reducing inflammatory processes within the lipid core that can threaten the integrity of the fibrous cap and promote thrombosis. <laughs>